Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy, and today I'm joined by Allison, Drew, and this is our little 10 minute window of the rest of the world. We're out in the mean dark streets of Upper Massachusetts talking about urban legends. Yes, we are. We're on our way to a particular urban legend in a small rural town in northern Massachusetts called Lynchinen. And apparently there is a tree in the middle of a cemetery. If you shine backlights on of your car, you can see the ghost of a hanging man named Willie. You're, you're familiar with this one, right? I don't think I know that one. Ah, what's well, in the Rev Cemetery, uh, the Revolutionary Cemetery? We've actually been there. We, we hung out there. Before. We actually filmed the movies here. So yes, we have. It's a bit of a hike, but we're gonna do it now. We're talking about urban legend. We'll start with Alice. What's your favorite, favorite urban legend brought forth, real or in a movie? Oh no, I'm not real. Oh come on! I can tell you what my favorite. Do it. Is. All right, my favorite urban legend has got to be that of Bloody Mary. Ooh, Absolutely. Cool. The, reason, stole my legend. the reason why I like Bloody Mary the most is when we were shooting a short film, which we're Bloody probably going to show clips of right now. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. When we were shooting that film, at the very end of the film, we actually ran into a little encounter with a um, spirit in the world. I wasn't gonna go there, but okay. It was interesting. <laughs> Plus, it was just really funny because every time the girls were like saying Bloody Mary. I know, it was, the, no one really knew the true legend of it. If it was Bloody Mary three times in the dark, or Bloody Mary, as you say, turning around three times, or do you have to bring a mirror into a closet, just or, do you, in the dark in the or, do, or do you have to say, it, there's another one, a version that you have to say it a hundred times. Oh, that's way too much effort. Yeah, I, yeah. Seriously, I mean, like, yeah, but we probably did shoot in that movie. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna go a little bit darker. One of my personal favorite urban legends is the dog in the microwave. Oh, I, I, I don't just, like dogs. Oh my gosh, that was it was actually portrayed quite nicely in their movie Urban Legend. Okay, I'm sorry, I brought the brought the room down by talking about the dead dog. I'm sorry. Nobody likes dead dogs. Nobody I, likes dead pets, except I, Stephen King. They're delicious. Right, another favorite of mine, I should say, is the punk on the door. The couple making making out, and then they hear the reports oh, okay. of the, the hook on the door. Another great, great, great one. But that, actually, I don't think it's ever been portrayed in a movie, like, sincerely. The closest thing was in the original Urban Legends, but it was it was done differently. You know, that, but they didn't do it quite... True. Another one that goes way, way back is the girl who stood on the grave. That is an awesome one. There's a group of friends there that their friend who uh, go to the cemetery at night and stand on this or sit on this grave and do something or like kind of like talk to the spirit and to prove that she was there, she has to stick a knife into the ground and they would see it in the morning. And then uh, she ends up sticking the knife to her dress and she thinks she gets grabbed by the creature or by, by, by something and then she basically dies of a heart attack. Actually, I know, I, I will openly say I did do a movie version of that. I thought that sounded familiar. I, told, I had all that stuff ready to go, all the props and everything. And she comes to, she comes for a random visit. And she's like, hey, we can shoot this tonight. And she's like, okay. And she was on, she's like, on like fire. That sounds vaguely familiar, coming for a random visit and all of a sudden you're shooting something. Yeah. And on that sarcastic note, why don't you take the I next one? I still don't know. I have performance anxiety. Um, the sitter. The what? The sitter. The sitter. Maybe sitter. Oh, the call is coming from inside your house. Yes. Again, another wow. Yeah, that's another really movie. Good, that, Allison. Thank you. Thank you. Another movie that I tackled. Yeah, we tackled that one in the, the sitter. <laughs> that was pretty fun. This is gonna be fun. I mean, you know, this would probably be like the exception <laughs> episode where I'll actually show clips of my own movies. Yeah, exactly. I've never done that before. Seems to be the episode to do that. Yes, it is. 
like showed up like right out of the darkness. I know, like, Chris says hi. Hi. That's hi. it's like really like Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Myers of you. Like, <laughs> like, that was like an axe. Oh, that actually reminds me of another urban legend. I was waiting for someone to say that. The bo the person in the back of the car. That's so creepy. Remember the eighties? We always looked in the back seat. Always you had to check the back seat. You had to. Very real thing. You checked to make sure nobody was in your car. Then. I know. You're like a floating. You're like a floating head because you're all in black. <laughs> it's like. Ooh. Oh, that's how I live in a neck there. That reminds me of another urban legend. Floating head. No, no, no. Now you're just making things up. I know. Well, I'm, I'm just being funny. We're uh, back on to that subject matter. Another one of my favorites is the, he's called The Bride. Basically, the woman is this is another one of those colonial day weird weird ones where the, the, the woman on her on her wedding day, they play the game of hide and seek with the wedding party and she hides inside the... Uh, the chest and they never end up finding her and they think she just ran away oh, because she was in a happy time. And they end up finding her like skeleton in the in the chest in the attic 80 years later. And that's actually had many modern day versions uh, attached to it with the children in the refrigerators. You know, I mean, mm. we don't know if it ever really happened. We, I, mean, I hope it never really happened. It's kind of morbid. But it, it, we, that's, that's a perfect example of uh, an old um, urban legend being retold in the present day. As mentioned, in, he just blinked, he just missed it. Yeah, that blur was Winchin. There was bright lights and street lights. There's no stoplight in. The, There's no, no stop sign. There's no stoplight in Winchin, and they pride themselves on that. I don't, I don't get it. I think they kind of could use one. We're actually going to be heading into some really deep rural kind of woodsy area now, so um, we'll get back to you. We're really like in Texas Chainsaw Massacre yeah, territory here. Heaven's the good that we actually be around where people could actually find us in the event that we die. We are on a really back woodsy road, cutting through some. Um, let's make sure there wasn't a cop following us. Okay, we're good. We're not trespassing or anything, but we are in a part of the world that this is Allison's led us astray. Uh, can we get sweets? Hold on a second. Uh, okay, go straight, go straight. Go straight? Yeah, we're almost there. This is a cemetery in the middle of nowhere. I believe, I believe correctly you can get out here. I mean, obviously people get in. <laughs> All right, there we go. They can't, can't, can't get out. It's like a boat to hotel. Yeah, that was in the top, so we're good. That way. That way? Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Wow, we are. Like, yeah, we're definitely like in the middle of. No uh, outlet. Yeah, I know. It's just. It's, it's, it's just the tour stupid. Stop, stop. Uh, this is right here. <laughs> no, this is not it. We gotta turn around. Wait, is that being so cool? Dude, did she get estrogen pill this morning or something? Jack! No. Right, right here is a better spot. Yeah, we're gonna find this urban legend. It's a, it's a tree. It's a tree in the middle of a cemetery, and if you shine your your backlights on it, you're supposed to see the ghost of a gentleman named Willie who hung himself. That's just genuinely creepy. We're at gravel. Yep, this I guess. is it. Okay, this is where the road. This is the road turns to gravel here. It's a cemetery. It's gotta be up here. I can feel it in my bones. Bad pun. Why are you scared? Ah! Oh, this is it. This is the cemetery. Right over there. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take my car off the road. No, right here. Right, right here. Right here. Back in here. You gotta see. Can you see? Yeah, you gotta see the. This is a local legend. You ready? Turn off the light. I can't get much of a focus on anything now. Let's see. Here comes the hazards. Ready? I do not see any ghosts. No. Hit the brakes. Ghosts. The brakes are hit. Oh. It would seem that the ghost is not showing themselves tonight. But nevertheless, that was still pretty cool. My name's Andy. I'm Allison. I'm Drew. Good night. <laughs>